Hello everyone, this is Raysbase and welcome back to Microsoft Flight Sim 2024 where I continue to test aircraft from Flight Sim 2020 that I've plopped into the community folder. These are payware aircraft and in this video is going to be three World War II fighters. We've got the Flying Iron P-38, the Flying Iron Spitfire, and the Godfriends F-4F-4. So, I'll start with the P-38 since I'll just go in alphabetical order. I'll go with Marge. I think I'll do the Spitfire in Amsterdam, so I'll hold off on that. I'll fly this in Tokyo. So we'll see... Oh, no, actually, you know what? Uh, better... Let's see Seoul. I'm curious about Seoul, because Seoul looked pretty bad in the previous version, in 2020. So I'll take this one. And we will see how it looks. We've had some subtle issues with planes. Uh, in the previous video, I tested out the F-14, F-16, and F-117, and they each had different little problems. With the Flying Iron Sim ones, they have a pad, if I recall correctly. Show tablet here. Let's check the tablet. Okay. Throttles cracked. Okay, this is the checklist. Got that stuff. This is live data. Okay, well, the fuel flow, gallons per hour tracks. We've got the graphing. It seems like the functionality is pretty good here. Yoke. Well, let's see. Yes, it hides the yoke. Gun sight. I didn't get a chance to really fly the P-38 a lot before in 2020, so hoping to make more use of it here. Pushback we can even do. Dynamic engine stresses. Absolutely. Okay. So that actually seems to work pretty well. Uh, the cockpit looks the way I remember it. Of course, I mean, that the, they haven't updated it or anything. And we've got Marge. The trim is at negative 100%. So I'm going to retrim that before I plunge into the ground and get back to takeoff. So that's interesting. It starts off like that. And let's see how this goes. Fairly stable on the ground. Uh, there was more twitchiness with like the F-14. Okay. We are off. So yeah, that's actually very nice. I mean, of course for a World War II fighter, because it has two engines, it's much easier to take off with. The beigeness of the buildings uh, Reeks of autogen, obviously. There's no photogrammetry for Seoul, apparently. Let's get into calmer territory for the engine. Yeah, these are... It doesn't look much better. I mean, some places look better, but this is just super beige. And it's super beige exactly the same way I remember in 2020. I think maybe the ground textures, the photo scenery looks a little bit better. It's just the autogen isn't doing it a huge amount of favors. I now I don't know how uh, how so looks normally, but I hope it's not so relentlessly beige. <laughs> Ah, uh, that poor stadium. That's unfortunate. But the ground textures look better. The trees look great. They, I mean, the trees are a huge improvement. I forget about the variety of the roof colors. This is more like it ought to be, but I forget how it was in 2020. Well, the plane is fine. No problems with the plane. Oh, that, uh, that airliner is doing some serious stuff. Oh, it's a nice looking causeway here. 
This bridge got good traffic on it. I think the road traffic's been a little bit nicer in this version too. Yeah, some buildings are gonna be horrible, it looks like. Okay, well I'm gonna try to land it. Oh, there's a uh, airliner right there. Ah, uh, well shucks, too bad. I'll fly over it. I think it's just crossing the runway anyway. Okay, right at the end it had it had a little bit of a jerk to the left that I didn't need. Okay, I'm applying brakes, I swear. Okay, okay, we we've survived. So, as far as I can tell, all- oh, jeez. As far as I can tell, all is fine with this plane. So, the Flying Iron B-38, basic functionality seems fine, except just note that the trim started at negative 100. So, Flying Iron Spitfire. Well, we've got our liveries. Let me uh, put on... All the oh, I guess I have to click. They have to make us click extra clicks, which I don't need. And I don't particularly like this dialogue for the fuel and all. Um, I would I like the previous way where it, it's not so fancy, but it's clearer about where I'm putting the fuel. It's very important where I'm putting the fuel, and the center mass and that business. I like the dialogue better. I guess there's this EFB version, but even this isn't as clear as it was in 2020, so yeah. I'm not too sure they've made an improvement there. Okay, Amsterdam. Oh, oh, it, it's moving already. Spitfire does not believe in brakes. Okay, well, let's see. Ooh, it doesn't have sound. That's interesting, that the flying iron... Oh, and it tipped over. Oh, and then it has the back... No, 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 I have to be able to take off properly. Well, I'm gonna need some of that rudder, but I think maybe this one's messed up while well, the P-38's okay. Well, certainly the sound is messed up. Paul Tower, Supermarine Papa Hotel, Lima, Charlie, Quebec. Ready okay, for okay, okay, straight okay. out at runway 27. Ooh. Gonna gently increase power. And try not to die. Ooh, ooh. It's really weird without the sound. Okay. Off we go. The landing gear does come up. So we'll take a look at Amsterdam, but obviously the plane is not in perfect shape here.
There's some planes that are just sort of hanging out in midair. Over there. I... Mm, they are static. So... Okay. Very interesting. How about the pad? Tablet exists and seems to do the things that it's supposed to do. So right now I think the main problem is the sound. Here's the airport. Interesting building right there. But let's take a look at the city. Uh, much water. Reminds me to check out Venice. Well, some airliners are working. Nope, oh, this looks like a place. Let's see what we've got here. It's an interesting building. Got some buildings here. Photogrammetry. Uh, the photogrammetry's got some issues. It needs some cleaning up. It's got the floaty bits. Lots of floaty bits, interestingly enough. And this... Apparently that sound is supposed to be birds, but I'm not buying it. They don't sound enough like birds to me. Yeah, I mean, I thought the foreground tree was... I guess they got new foreground tree. But uh, it shouldn't be all messed up like this. I thought they had sort of fixed that up for flights in 2020 already. Well, we've got a point of interest up ahead, from the looks of it. Yep, well, that's a custom handcrafted stadium. Closed up, though. But it's no fun flying the Spitfire when you can't hear the sound. So, alright, I've had enough of this. Let's go to the F4F4. F4. The Got Friends F4F4. F4. I'll just go with the basic livery. And I think I'll check out how Starbase looks because that was requested. So, we're gonna see the. I was gonna do it with a helicopter, but. Uh, actually, the game decided to crash on me when I tried that at Starbase during the live stream. So I'm not going to try a helicopter this time, just in case the game crashes. Uh, so I'm not. I was trying to pick one of those helicopter pads, but I'll I'll play it safer. And we're just going to go for plane this time. Kilo oh, oh, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. I don't think the canopy's closed though. I didn't close the Spitfire one either. Can I close this? Not oh, this one. Oh shoot. Emergency release. How's the canopy get closed around here? Oh, there we go. No. It's actually the opposite way. If I pull back on the mouse, it moves it forward. 
Okay. I don't like the messages being at the bottom of the screen, Asobo. Put them at the top of the screen so that they're not getting in the way of my instruments. Seems basic, right? And the trim also started out negative. At basically negative 100, I think. Got friends, F4F looking fine. I forget if they had a pad or not. Gallon over here does not look good actually. The real thing looks much more colorful. Much nicer. I've always been impressed by how this sort of barrier island looks. I don't know if it's an island or it's actually a really long peninsula. But I think it's an island. Well, the train textures look fine, of course. But I'm, I've got the suspicion that the tower is not going to look fine. It's got to look like a block. I guess at least it's there. Yeah, well, it looks like an uh, office building. Oh, no, this has got some more detail. Well, they look like buildings, but they sort of tried, I guess. Those are the fuel tanks. So, they've got stuff here, but it's not the right stuff. Is basically the idea. I mean, it's a there's correctly shaped buildings over on this side, but again, not the right buildings. And I don't think there's this much traffic on that road. I would suspect not. But yeah, I mean, there, yeah. I expect there's gonna be some freeware scenery to update that and there was for flights in 2020 as well but that hasn't been updated in a long time okay coming down but it's a uh, tail dragger so bounciness is likely Oh, no bounce, no, no real bounce. But uh, I can't turn. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna take this runway to somewhere. All right. Taxiing like crazy over here, but I made it. Whoa, no, I didn't. Ah, I used the brakes too much. Okay, no, there's not a good way to be back on track, game. Uh, you don't want to be back on track with the propeller like that. Oh well. All right. Well, as I will crash again here, I'll I'll wrap it up. And I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time. And it's got to be like Groundhog's Day here.